So let's take a look for a skid mark in this. There's the earth connection, well there's an earth connection at the end. There was quite a loud bang, I would really expect to see a skid mark in this. And the case, unless it's actually happened in the electronics section at the end. The whole core inside is one solid mass. That's that's held on by the Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. You're not taking that off, are you? Yes, I am. Um, isn't there still fluid in there? Yes, there's fluid going everywhere. It's fine. <laughs> it's not a lot. Right here, if I had to lift it like this, could someone else lift the cover off it? If it will, actually, the cover will come off. Oh, quite sharp. Pull it open, it I think. may slide out. Oh, yep, yep, yep. oh that's got enough. Oh, oh, God. That's all right, it's riveted on. Oh, well, it's a wee spade here. Right here. Is there a skid mark inside the metal cover anywhere? Is there a big splodge, a big skid that's gone Not behind? Really. No. It may even be the interference pressure that's popped. You know what, there's just a solenoid valve in that set. It's not actually uh, using a pump to blow it in. It must be using the Venturi effect. What is that? It does seem fairly proprietary inside. It says punk on the side. It's got pores of liquid everywhere, so I just think it's something to do with that. An interference suppression machine. I can see a sooty mark next to the terminal that's going in. This is quite a big thing with a fat transformer inside, a ridiculously sized transformer. This does look like it's all custom. Yeah, I'm pouring a snow liquid all over me. I wonder if the actual suppressor's actually popped. Is there anything really obvious? I'm not seeing anything immediately that's uh, chaffed through. So the power is coming in, it's going through the suppressor. Uh, through the suppressor, uh, having said that, that made quite a bang this time, so I wonder if the fuse blew this time. Fuse did not blow. That makes me think it is actually the. Uh, makes me wonder if the suppressor's actually gone in this. Right, we're going to have to go further. Has it gone dead short circuit between live and earth? Uh, this is where a high voltage tester might be better, something that puts out a. Spike your voltage. Yes. Just say when you're. You filming? Okay. Whoa! Right, you. Definitely from the bottom, yes. So I've uh, taken the circuit board out of this and had a look, and it's been burning in the vicinity on the circuit board of the connector, and it looks as though it's actually been tracking. Even though there's an isolation gap, it looks as though it's been tracking across that. So the only way I've been able to fix this, I, I removed the damaged connector. I uh, removed a spare connector from here, and I drilled that out to get rid of the damaged area, and uh, soldered it in and put a link across to give it good clearance. So now I'm just going to work out this huge pile of wires, and uh, hopefully that'll fix it. You can see the huge skid mark it's left on here when it's been blowing out the back, but uh, hopefully that will resolve the problem. Now, just to prove that, here's the remote control with it, and if I turn it on now, it will start blowing snow out. And I'm not going to blow too much snow out because the audience is in, they're just starting to come in, so it's going to make a bit of a mess otherwise. But that's giving it the other it's going to be helping these run, it's kind of it's not really swirling up very high, the, the air flow seems to be. Oh, it is actually, it's carrying a modest distance. But yes, job done. 
So I shall unplug this now and control shall revert back to the lighting desk. Fixed.